Following a slew of high-end, feature-packed gaming headsets this year, the brand new HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 might be the best budget option I've tried in a long time. At just $50, a simple wired design with massive drivers and frequency response makes it a great choice for gamers on a budget. And of course, we've got our hands on it, so let's dive in and take a closer look at the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan with 9to5toys, and if you missed our live stream last week, check it out as we did a live unboxing and mic test of this headset. But since then, I've been putting it through the paces and putting it to use. And starting with design, one of the other recent HyperX headsets, the uh, Cloud Alpha Wireless, is a great headset, but one of the only places where I kind of docked any points was in the design. It just looks older and a little bit dated, like they haven't really tried to update anything here. But with the new Cloud Stinger 2, I actually really like the uh, direction they're going in with this design. It has a little more shape to it with some nice texture on the outside of the ear cups. And as a budget headset, the majority of it is plastic. And this may feel cheap, but it also helps keep the cost down as well as makes them lightweight at just 275 grams. But otherwise you can see we have this simple yoke that goes around the ear cup. We have the adjustable headband here and everything, you know, is plastic. It does feel plastic and we'll see what that means in time with durability. But right now, that lightweight nature of it is just a real big bonus. As a wired headset, there really isn't much to this thing or two. On the left ear cup is a flip to mute microphone that has an adjustable boom for great mic placement. And it also comes with a pop filter. And on the right side is that single volume dial. And the wire does have that four pole connector here. So that's gonna work with uh, console controllers right out of the box. But if you need to split that into a uh, microphone and headphone for like a PC, you can do that with the included splitter. And moving on to comfort, that lightweight design also works really well. The ear cups aren't necessarily the softest that I've tried, but they are wrapped in a nice leatherette. Unfortunately, they are a bit on the shallow side, meaning that my ears press against the driver covers in use. But once again, because of that lightweight design, it doesn't have excessive clamping force. So the pressure in the ear cups wasn't a huge issue for me, like some other gaming headsets have been. The headband has a nice soft pad on top. And once again, thanks to that lightweight nature, it feels comfortable for long use. And really, I would just love to see a little bit more padding, a little bit more thickness in these ear cushions, get a little bit more depth in there. Like I mentioned, I don't like it when my ears are pressed up against the driver covers. But once again, with that kind of budget price, um, maybe this won't be an issue for everybody and because it is lightweight it's not like there's a ton of pressure on your ears so still if you are on a budget i think you will enjoy this headset and moving on to how does it sound well with a massive frequency response of 10 to 28,000 hertz it looks great on paper but also translates to a huge sound for both music and gaming bass notes on songs like solar sailor from the tron legacy soundtrack hit low without being overbearing or causing any muddiness through both the mids and the highs the hyperx cloud stinger 2 keeps things nice and clear but it is on the darker side when compared to a more neutral sounding pair of headphones like the Philips Fidelio X3. The Stinger 2 misses a bit of the high-end dazzle in cymbals when listening to metal tracks like Mist by Protest the Hero, but it keeps plenty of mid-range clarity and detail in the guitars. And when it comes to positioning and imaging, the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 hits way above its price point. Once again, when listening to complicated metal tracks like Mist by Protest the Hero, it's easy to distinguish the different guitar riffs and where they're placed, and that also translates really well into positioning sounds when gaming. So overall, really when it comes to sound, the HyperX Stinger 2 really shines, especially for that $50 price. Another area that really impressed us and viewers during the live stream was the microphone on here. Now, typically gaming headset microphones are pretty thin and like they'll have a lot of like clarity, which is usually good for communications, but it just doesn't sound that natural. On the Stinger 2 though, there was some better clarity and a lot more body. Sure, it still doesn't sound as good as a dedicated condenser or dynamic streaming microphone, but I was impressed by its sound, especially once again for that $50 price tag. And we'll do a quick sound test here so you can hear the microphone. But if you wanna hear more, check out the live live stream and you can hear a little bit more of that there. All right, so here we are using the microphone on the Cloud Stinger 2 headset. As you can see, there's a lot of adjustability here. You can get it closer, you can get it further away. It does come with a pop filter here, which in the live stream, uh, people said made it sound a little bit better. So I am using that on here. But hopefully this gives you a good idea of what the microphone sounds like. Uh, I'll grab a keyboard real quick so we can see what it does with uh, isolating background noise. All right, so I do have the Razer Huntsman Mini here with their clicky optical switches, which is like the loudest keyboard I own. So we'll see how it does at knocking out background noise. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of how that sounds with this microphone. 
And as always, if you want to make your gaming headset microphone sound better for free, check out our guide up here in the corner. So thanks to its impressive sound quality, commendable microphone, and lightweight build, the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2 will be my new recommendation for budget gaming headsets. Of course, I would love to see some deeper ear cushions in here for a little bit more comfort, and time will tell on the durability with this plastic design and build, but overall I think the Stinger 2 hits way above its $50 price tag. All right, and that's gonna do it for our review of the HyperX Cloud Stinger 2. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. And if you're looking for some other videos to watch, I'll link to our review of the Cloud Alpha Wireless, as well as our most recent video. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so others can find it easier and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys. to